So in this video, you'll learn how to add and remove the wireless debugging shortcut from the quick settings panel on your Samsung Galaxy S25. So if you want to have a shortcut in the quick settings panel for wireless debugging, this is what you need to do to add it. Start by opening the settings app and in settings, you want to scroll and select developer options. If you don't have developer options enabled, this is what you need to do to turn it on. Start by selecting about phone, then choose the option software information. Tap on the build number seven times. And then if you have a pin, password or pattern enabled on your phone, you'll need to confirm by entering it in before developer options is enabled. Once developer options is enabled, you can then go back to the main settings menu and you should see it right underneath about the, uh, underneath the option about phone. So just tap on it. Then from here, you want to scroll down until you find this option, quick settings developer tiles and tap on it. And then you should see wireless debugging. So just tap on the toggle like that. And now you'll notice that whenever you open the quick settings panel, you should see the wireless debugging tile listed right here. So right there at the top, you have wireless debugging and you can use this shortcut to enable or disable wireless debugging. However, if you want to remove it from the quick settings tile, then you just tap on the toggle like that and it will be removed from the quick settings menu. So it's completely up to you to decide if you want to have it added or removed from there. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.